Hi, I'm Randolph Miller, and welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Train journey across America with the Millennial Train Project. Gordon Rooney from the Franklin Project, he's known as an ambassador. He will be here to tell us all about that. And then Kimberly Bowman is here to talk about so exquisite Charleston Magazine. She has something to talk about students needing a scholarship to go to school. You want to stay tuned and listen to that. And then Arts Form and Theater Concepts will be here to talk about Stick Fly. It's a play being presented during the Moja Arts Festival. Charleston Strong United, first reggae on the river, Saturday, October 8th, 2016, at the Hanahan Amphitheater, right behind Trident Technical College. And the dub plates will be here to do the music for that, right here on Bounce Around Charleston. Okay, we're here on Bounce Around Charleston. Right now, you're going to hear about a train journey across America with the Millennial Trains Project. I have here standing with me Gordon Rooney, who's going to share something great about this journey. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you, Randolph. Okay, now, tell me about the Aspen Institute's Franklin Project. Well, the... Um I, I've spent the past uh, year with the Aspen Institute's Franklin Project, uh, which actually has recently merged to become the Service Year Alliance. And um, in short, uh, the Service Year Alliance's uh, mission is mm -hmm. to make a service year, a full-time year of paid service, a uh, cultural expectation and a common opportunity for all young Americans. All young Americans. That's right. So if I had to give you a title, what, what would it be? Well, I serve in sort of an advisory role with the Service Year Alliance or uh, an ambassador, per okay. se. An ambassador. Sure. Okay. So now, this train project, where did it take you? Well, with, I went on a uh, train journey across America with the Millennial Trains Project, and uh, they're their own uh, nonprofit that set up the train journey and selected uh, uh, 25 other uh, millennials, mm -hmm. um, including myself, to take a transcontinental journey across America. Across America? Yes, across America. We started in Pittsburgh, and we went from Pittsburgh to uh, Chicago, Chicago to Kansas City, Kansas City to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then out from Albuquerque to Los Angeles, and that's where our journey ended, um, and the total journey lasted one week. And all of this was on a train? Yes, sir. Okay, so what was the purpose of riding on a train? Well, um, uh, Myself and the other 25 uh, millennials were all working on and are still working on projects that we care about that are all, um, uh, the purpose of all of them are to uh, better our communities mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps our countries. Mm -hmm. um, so on the trip we had people from all across this country, um, including from uh, Hungary, Germany, Peru, and Singapore. Um, and uh, we slept on board, we ate on board the train, um, and we had onboard mentors along the way. So mm. the Millennial Trains Project actually set up uh, mentors to come on board and, and to mentor us and to, to uh, uh, give us uh, mentoring sessions on board. So that means you met some powerful people. I met some very uh, interesting people, mm -hmm. um, and it was an amazing journey, truly. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me some of the people that you met along the journey? Sure, I'll tell you, I'll give you some of the, the highlights, I think. Um, in Pittsburgh, we met the uh, mayor of Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. uh, Bill Perdido, and, and learned about um, local government in Pittsburgh and the kinds of uh, innovative things that uh, he's doing in that city. I mm -hmm. uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, in uh, Braddock, Pennsylvania, we met the mayor there and, and talked to him. And um, one thing that I liked that he said was that um, AmeriCorps was something that truly uh, transformed his life and, and uh, really uh, gave him um, a sense of purpose in his life for um, you know, being a community leader. Um, in Chicago, we met the city treasurer. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, Kansas City, we met the mayor there, wow. Mayor Sly James. Um, really great guy. Really enjoyed that conversation. Well, tell me something, Gordon. How did you become interested in national service? Well, uh, I grew up in a military family, so service, I've always been around people who are uh, dedicated to uh, this country and, you know, putting on the uniform every day. But mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, after I graduated from college, um, I served a year with City Year, which is a national nonprofit that is <laughs> focused on um, keeping kids in school and on track to graduation. Mm -hmm. um, and that experience was very influential uh, to me and, and re really impactful. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned from that experience that uh, this idea that uh, every young American should have the opportunity to serve their country um, in some form if they are not able to serve in the uniform. Because everyone would not go in the armed services. Exactly. So they can become a part of organizations like but AmeriCorps? That's right. What else is out there? There's AmeriCorps, there's City Year, there's Habitat for Humanity. Yes. Uh, there is actually a lot of opportunities uh, to serve one's community, mm -hmm. um, especially right here in Charleston. Okay, so now finally, tell us how interested persons can get involved. Sure, well, if you're looking for ways to get involved or um, if you're a young person uh, graduating from high school or perhaps you're about to graduate from college and you like this idea of, uh, or you wanna give back to your community and country in some way and um, serving a year in some capacity in, a, in an area of interest to you or maybe in an area that you're passionate about, uh, you can go to serviceyear.org mm -hmm. and find opportunities uh, there. Um, you can also go on the Corporation for National and Community Services website and find opportunities there. Um, and I think there's, there's a lot of opportunities out there to serve. And is there a website if a young person out there watching wants to become a part of the Millennial Train Project? Is there a website they can go find out more information? Yes, I highly recommend um, anyone who has a project that they're working on and they're interested in, in going across the country by train for a week on this amazing journey, uh, they can go to www.millennialtrain.co. Okay, Gordon Rooney, sounds to me like you had an exciting <laughs> <laughs> educational and wonderful time yes, sir. with the train project, uh, the Millennial Train Project. We thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Okay, coming up next, So Exquisite Charleston Magazine. You're going to hear more from Kimberly Bowman about that right after this break. <laughs> <laughs> 